my last video showed the harvesting of three of our goats. This video was much more enjoyable for me to edit together, even though it took me much longer to do so. This video compresses the two years of their lives into a joyful look back at our first experience raising bottle baby goats. Some of these clips have never been seen in a video before. They are hey, sweeties. <laughs> I do want some milk replacer then since she said that's what she uses. Okay, I can go in and get that right now. Wendy has been thinking about getting some goats specifically to raise for meat. And today on Craigslist, these three little guys showed up. We're kind of excited about new baby goats. They're different than what we've had before. They're a cross between Nubian, boar, and I'll have to ask Wendy what the, other, what the last one was. Nubian, boar, and uh, Kiko, I think. I think. I think that's what it is. It'll be fun to watch them grow up, but they are going to be meat goats, so we'll have to try not to get too attached to them. Keep it in your mouth, Goofers. You're just too wiggly. I get the tail wagging. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> the little squeaky noises. <laughs> we haven't decided on names yet. Ridiculous. Mustard pants is my favorite so far. Yes, mustard pants. They're about a week old. <laughs> whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, there you go. Are you smiling? His little heart is beating so fast. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. careful. Oh, and it's on your staff. That's okay. I kind of imagined that that uh -oh. was going to happen. Yeah, drop them back and. Well, When I first saw them, I thought it was a puppy. From I a thought, distance? Yeah, from yeah. a distance. Because I, all I saw was the face and the floppy ears. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, and then I saw two, and I thought, oh, that'd be nice to, for the puppy to have a playmate. And then I got over here, and they weren't even puppies. <laughs> <laughs> and there were three of them. And there were three. Jump out of here pretty soon. Yeah. Well, hello, baby goats. Are you excited? Are you excited? It looks like it. 
So what we have here is some kind of a goat tang. Wendy's got some electrolyte solution mixed up here and we're gonna split it up amongst the goats. Hopefully that will help with their poop problem. Yep, he's ha having a hard time getting started, but he's going good now. This is Oscar. Oscar is a really good lap goat right at this point. Not quite as much of a pig as Dijon was, but Oscar's doing really good right now. Okay, that's pretty good. Frank also took a little while to get going, but He's drinking pretty good now. You can come up for air sometime if you need to, you know. There you go. No more? No? Okay, you did pretty good. Pretty good job there, Frank. Dijon here doesn't seem to have much problem drinking as much as he can. What is that? Come here, babies. Come on. <laughs> He's silly. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hello, my monkeys. Yes. All the new goats on the farm. Oh, hello. Come on. pounds. <laughs> I bet you're the smallest, but you've got a wrong belly. He's got poop right there, so watch it. Okay. 8.5. 8.5 pounds. <laughs> Cutie pie. This this I? goat is almost two weeks old. Almost two weeks old. I think it is two weeks old today, maybe. Oh. Today or tomorrow. Oh. Here comes little Frank. Kind of wiggly. Hi, Frank. Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh. I need some help. I need some help. Quick, you're so squeamish. <laughs> Brian's making you get poop on me. <laughs> Faces. <laughs> 8.8 .8 pounds. 8.8 .8 pounds for Frank. <laughs> you can fall out, Frankie. Yes, he's falling. <laughs> That's good landing. Yep. Munchkins are uh, just happy and playful after we did the dehorning. The budding. The disbudding. Here's 
So we didn't film it, but... It's too traumatic to film. But I don't the, like doing it. But the disputting didn't go too badly. No. This is my boy. Look at our face. <laughs> that was super cute. Super cute. Super, super cute. He's a cute bear. He's a cute bear. <laughs> yes, he is. Just a nice <laughs> afternoon with your goats, huh? Yeah. Oh, five million. That is one trusting goat. <laughs> this is like whatever. <laughs> is there gonna be a bottle? <laughs> oh. My turn. My turn. First. Do me next. Do me. <laughs> well, do you think the bottle baby goats is a good experiment so far? Yeah. Happy fun. with the. They're a lot of work. They are very playful, energetic. A little too energetic. What are you doing? What are you doing? Really cute when they're way off somewhere and then they hear me coming and they just come running yeah. pell mell and they run so fast that their little legs can't keep up with them and so they fall over in the ground and roll around and <laughs> bleat and get excited. It's pretty cute. Three goats in a bucket. Look at that. Too adorable. Bad goat. Look at that bad goat. <laughs> yeah, our fence is not baby goat proof. At least not that baby goat. Could be any day or you think it'll be another week.
Frank has taught Oscar how to get out. escape, but we really do need to contain them to keep them safe. So now, they're living over here with our bucks. This fencing will definitely keep them safe. I'll be curious to see tonight if the bottle baby goats cuddle up with the bucks or if they just kind of hang out by themselves. So far, they've just been kind of hanging out by themselves out here in the middle and the bucks have been hanging out up there on their porch. Hello. Hello. And these bottle baby goats, they've been pretty much keeping to themselves. But it's nice to see that our bucks aren't being mean to the little guys. your bottle. Just relax. Somebody, somebody's going to get the bottle. The other two are not going to get the bottle. That's the way it works around here. Okay? Now there you go, little Frank. just tickles. That's just rude. That's just rude, Oscar. So, Oscar, Frank, DJ. Explain why they're meat goats rather than breeding goats. Why, why not keep them as breeding goats? Um, it, it's... Or even companion goats. Well, they could be a companion goat, but they're going to be pretty large, and they're boys. So, um, I've been kind of wanting to experiment with the idea of raising meat goats. Most of the world eats goat meat. It's 
us in the USA that is a little bit strange and not eating it. Um, and people have told me that it's actually really good and I'm just kind of wanting to get into that side because I do enjoy raising these animals and things like that and so making it more of a sustainable thing for our homestead. The meat goats have the genetics to be a larger larger goat so more meat and they're not thoroughbred by any means mm -hmm. they don't have proven milk lines by any means so they're inexpensive yeah and just basically good for meat you know it's, that's what their their purpose really is I, I think the hard thing will be that you know basically hand feeding these goats then putting them in the freezer is a little bit gonna be a little bit rough because they are kind of adorable and silly and you know so but we knew what they were going to be when we got them we recently moved our three little bottle baby goats over here with the bucks we did it earlier than we thought we were going to all the boys are over here now the plan was to raise these little goats with the girls for the first part of their lives but they just escaped from that pen too easily so we've got them over here now where it's they're a little more secure and I'm really enjoying having them here because they are so affectionate and whenever I'm coming up to take care of the chickens they're just coming right up to the fence and saying hello it's it's just really enjoyable it's really enjoyable very rewarding to have bottle baby goats so close so close and yet so far. Somehow little DJ got stuck on a bungee cord that we had been using to keep the buck shelter doors open. He got one of the hook ends stuck in his mouth. You can kind of see how it's chewed away a little bit here. The other end was still attached to the fence. So he would just pull until it hurt and he just couldn't get away from the fence. This is, this is DJ here. His face is still a little swollen, but I think it's getting a little better. Yeah. Settle down. <laughs> Settle down, little, little guy. DJ, relax. It's okay. Relax. It's fun to see the little guys grow up. When they were no longer babies, I kind of thought their cute days were behind them. But as they matured, and as their skurs, their 
distinctive goofy scurs grew in from where we had disbutted them, they absolutely reclaimed their cuteness. All right. <clears throat> We're weighing Oscar to see if he's reached or is close to reaching the target weight for when we're gonna be processing him for meat. 40 pounds, just like I said. He feels like a beat sack. <laughs> Feed sack. So just over 40 pounds, we wanted to reach 75. So it looks like our little bottle baby goats that aren't so little anymore have a reprieve for a while. What do you think, Wendy? Yeah, I think he needs to gain 20 to 30 pounds. Were you looking forward to harvesting little Oscar? I want goat sausage. <laughs> goat sausage more than the baby goats. You heard it here There's first. too many goats right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are super cute. Very affectionate. These goats are super affectionate. Very nice goats to have. But you're meant to be sausage. I'm sorry. That's your purpose. Yeah. Goat sausage. But maybe not for a little while. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> not for a little while. Wendy made some delicious brownies for me today. So one of our questions is, will our goats want to try, try stop eating the camera? <laughs> you don't want to eat the camera, you want to eat the brownies. So one of the questions for today, so one of the questions for today is, will our goats want to try these brownies? They're so good. Mmm, mmm, so good. But they're not for goats, no, no. People food. Oh. You don't know what you're missing. So delicious. Mm -hmm. This time of year, our goat pen is just a big muddy mess. 
it doesn't seem to matter how much bark chips I put in there. It really just doesn't make a difference. It's just going to be a, a gushy gooey mess no matter what I do. They do have that front porch in front of their shelter that they can stand on and some log rounds. But they kind of like to tip those log rounds over so then they're not quite as functional. Right behind me, I've got the last plank from that old raised bed that we recently took apart and rebuilt. Let's see if the goats like standing on this as well. goat saw me bring some snacks up here before we get to that look at this the goats are wearing down what's left of those trees in there it's pretty amazing to see the difference from what this used to be to what it is now okay let's give them the snacks Goat probiotics plus treats. They taste like apple, apparently. I'll take your word for it. <coughs> Eros, would you like a probiotic treat? <coughs> That's a good dog. Nope, he spit, <laughs> he spit it out. Oh, not a goat after all. Here, DJ, you can have it. Dog slobber now. He might like dog slobber. <laughs> this is kind of a test for us. Well, maybe a test for me. If we're gonna be serious about a homestead lifestyle, we have to be willing to put animals into the freezer. <coughs> DJ here is one of my favorite goats. He is always the most curious and one of the first up to the fence to say hello when I'm out here. This one is Oscar. He's a little rambunctious today. Frank here is the most reticent of the bottle baby goats. He's a little more chill. Yeah, a little more mellow goat. This is a trip from bottle babies to freezer camp. So the last clips I'll leave you with is receiving the meat from the butcher. Got one more for you. All right. Just like you catch your girlfriend. All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah, have a good one. All right.